Jay, this incredible streak that you're on right now with these four wins, four stoppages. I'm just curious, I mean, kind of how you're feeling about it. I mean, is it like, you know, giving you this huge boost of confidence or is it just like, yeah, I, I knew I was that good. That's what, you know, that's what I was going to do once I got here. <laughs> um, honestly, it's a little bit of both, you know. Um, I always knew, you know, that I was as good as I am, you know, but now I have to start showing the world. So you guys are seeing it. Now here you are, International Fight Week, ranked opponent. I mean, does this feel like, a, I know you got higher goals along the way, but does this feel like a big stop, a big moment in your career? Yeah, it, it, it really feels like that, but at the same time, I'm not like, taking it that way. I just feel like it's uh, something that was destined to happen. So I'm just taking it in as it comes. Talk about Brad as an opponent, kind of what you, you see in him, and uh, you know, what kind of challenge you think he presents for you. Um, Brad, Brad's, he's a good challenge. Uh, he's uh, another step up. You know, I think he's going to be a bit tougher than Malarkey was. Um, I think he's going to be more well-rounded and uh, willing to get into grappling exchanges this fight. And I'm excited for it. On paper, it looks like it's probably going to be a pretty exciting fight. But do you let yourself go in with that mindset that it's going to be exciting? Or do you have to think, no, I'm just going to dominate? You know, the last few times, everybody said, oh, it's going to be fight of the night. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And what happens? I go finish. <laughs> That's what I come here for. I don't want to see the judges. I want to finish. Last thing for me, win here. When I mean, you start calling out names at the top of the division, I mean, you're going to be, you know, deserving. I think of kind of a top-ranked opponent. Do you start calling out names? Nah, man, I don't. I don't call out too much. You know, at least not at this point. But we'll see, man. We'll see. Jalen, back here. What has clicked for you over these last few fights? you I think a lot of people saw a ton of potential, really high ceiling for you. You, you had a couple losses early on in your UFC run, but now you're just on this tear. What do you think has changed? When, when did you realize I got something cooking here? Um, a lot changed. Okay, so it all came after I fought Matt Favola. I fought that fight injured, had a knee injury into that fight. And I just took time off, man, and just got around the right people. I had my coach in my ear helping me get back to full health and success, kept my mindset right. And, you know, I haven't lost since because I, I hated that feeling. I didn't fight for 11 months after that. And that was the longest I ever went without fighting. And I, it was, it was a taxing mentally, taxing physically. And I was just like, fuck, I don't want to go through that again. So, you know, I, I told myself, like, hey, you got to get on, get on the road, you know, get it going. You know, if you want to be a champion, you got to do it right. You got to get do it now, you know, because I don't want to be fighting until I'm, like, you know, 40 years old. I don't want to do that shit. I want to be done, like. You know, maybe 35 at the, at the latest, you know. Even just, just mentally, you just seem very calm, very relaxed, just enjoying the moment a little bit more than you did when you came into the UFC. How, how freeing of a feeling is that for you at this stage in your career? You're on this nice run, everything's coming together nicely, and you can savor the flavor a little bit more. Yeah, man, you know, it's like even when I first got into the UFC, I fought on one of the biggest cards, you know, I fought um, McGregor and Khabib. You know, like that was intense in itself, you know, so everything that, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. So everything has led up to me being this relaxed and calm and confident in, in these uh, on these big cards, you know, under these big lights. It's, you know, I don't I don't regret anything. I just look at it as, you know, it's everything happens for a reason. It's my destiny to do this stuff. But yeah, man, the confidence is there. Uh, mindset's been there. I've just I've just grown with the company, you know, that's it. And last thing, you're, you're chasing greatness, obviously. Habib Nurmagomedov is going into the Hall of Fame tomorrow. Just curious, your thoughts on Habib, his career, and a guy that, if you want to keep climbing this division and be mentioned in those greatness categories at 155, that's the guy you're going to be chasing. Yeah, man. Um, you know, he had a, a stellar career. You know, I wish he would have stayed a little bit longer, but, you know, the circumstances uh, didn't play out that way. But, yeah, man, it's an honor for him to be in the Hall of Fame. You know, I plan on being there one day also. Jalen, over here. Um, your UFC debut was against Vicente Luque in Vegas, and now here you are, you know, big opportunity against Brad Riddell. Have you had a chance to look back in your career and just see where you were in that debut, which was a tough one, at 170, not even your weight class, to now fighting Brad Riddell? Have you been able to reflect on the success that you've had? Yeah, man, I reflect on that all the time. I think about it, it, it still haunts me to this day, you know. Like, even back then, dude, I walked around at 170, uh, so I didn't even have to cut weight. I just didn't eat the night before, and I, and I made weight that fight, you know. People don't even know that, you know. They're like, oh, you're too big for a 55? Like, nah, dude, like, I, I, was, I was small back then. Like, now I got a little bit more weight on me, so now I'm like, you know, I wonder how it would be if, you know, we fought, like, now I got a little bit more size on me, you know, so it just... Just, it just plays in my head, you know, it's in the back of my head. I'm not really thinking about stuff like that. But um, 
yeah, dude, I've, I've grown leaps and bounds. I've come a long way, you know, like this, this streak has been, it's been a blessing, you know, and I just want to keep it going. And uh, Riddell fought Fiziev, uh, and it was a really, really great fight. Obviously, he didn't come out on top. How much do you take away from that fight? I know you and Fiziev are different fighters, but what did you take away from that fight maybe that you're bringing into this one as, you know, from a strategy perspective? I take away a lot from that fight. I watched that fight uh, many a times, you know. Um, so, um, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll see. I'll show you guys Saturday. Thanks for the time, Jim. Thank you. You've been out on boards lately? Nah, man, I haven't been skating this camp, dude. It's too big of a fight to even risk, you know. I've been, been off the board. But after I get out of this, out of that gun, I'm, I'm going to be back on. Anything else? That's it. Cool.